Hello, Tinman432, and welcome to my next video. So, in the last video, we took out Flame Mammoth, I believe, and now we're going to um, get the other health upgrade from Chill Penguin and Magic Editing. There we go. So, we're back, and so we're at this part where I told you we would come back later after we beat a certain boss. And we're going to try to get up there. You have to kind of jump and then jump out of the armor. So, just take out the flame thrower. And then there's the heart tank right there. And let's destroy this other little igloo. What are they called? I don't know. So that's that's it for this stage. Let's go back using the escape unit. You can only use that on a stage that you've cleared. But now, let's take out Armored Armadillo. I believe he is. Armored Armadillo. Um, I always liked this this soundtrack here. I mean, the whole game is good, and I did a little Best of Mega Man X, my favorites, but... Um, I always liked this one, too. Like, maybe not my top four, but maybe fifth. <laughs> and then here is his bat. Um, it's the only one in the game, and it drops an insane amount of extra lives. And if you've played Mega Man 2, then you'll recognize recognize it. And uh, it was in Woodman stage. But um, we'll go back to that later before we take on Sigma. So let's keep going forward. Uh, when I jumped off the cart there, it would have fell into that pit right there if you didn't jump off at the right time. So that's why I got off, mostly to show you that. that. But now let's keep going forward. And down this little pit here. You're going to want to jump up here because those spikes that that machine is carrying is instant kill. And we have a little sub-tank over here. So in order to take it down super quick, take out the flamethrower weapon. And um, it'll keep... It'll take it out real quick. And then... You, you want to take it out. Not as much for this part, but you'll want to take it out um, before. Because if you don't, if you fail to destroy it before it gets to a certain area. Because uh, it'll show up again in this stage. Then it'll take out the... Uh, health upgrade, uh, another heart tank that you want, and we wouldn't want that to happen. So just take out the flame, the flamethrower, and yeah, that'll take care of it, real, real easy. And Metars, we've seen them before, both in this playthrough and soon I'll play Mega Man, the original series when they originally appear. So yeah, that's that's cool that they're here. Nice little reference along with the bats for the one bat that we killed earlier and now we have another cart ride so just keep going down you won't really have to worry about much then you have to jump off at a certain time and I jumped off at the wrong time and almost landed in those spikes because I haven't played this game in a long time so then here's the one that you're going to want to take out really quick and it's really easy when you have that weapon equipped the flamethrower and here's your heart tank that you could have missed if you didn't destroy it. As you can see, our health is getting pretty big from what it compared to when it was at the start. And yeah, Mega Man has grown a little. Max. A little lot. So now we're on another cart and beautiful waterfall in the background. And then there's this health pack up here. We'll come back to this place later before we take on Sigma. So now we're at Armored Armadillo's boss fight, and his weakness is the rolling shield, I believe. No, not the rolling shield, that's the weapon he has. Sorry. Uh, his weakness is the electric spark, I believe it's called. And it's really effective, because when he does that rolling thing, he's invincible. But if you use the electric spark on him once, then all of his armor will come off, and when he does the rolling thing, he won't be invincible anymore. There's also another attack where, that he has where if he's blocking one of your charge shots, he'll send like a big um, explosion thing all around the room, so you wouldn't want to do that, and we already beat it. And then he has that little thing where one of the fireballs come out of his head. Okay, what? Oh well, we beat him, so now let's move on to the next stage, after we see our weapon get. Alright, 
so this is the rolling shield. Sorry, I almost said that was his weakness, although that's his weapon. And it's pretty much a rolling shield. And here's our password. Skip it. Now let's go to Launch Octopus, who just happens to have the weakness of rolling shield. Or the weakness of rolling shield. So Launch Octopus is a pretty interesting... I like his music and most of his stage. He has a good personality. Evil though. Maverick, so we have to kill him. Let's get on with the stage. Those things will drop bombs, but you've seen them before. Those turtle- are they turtles? I'm pretty sure they're turtles with bombs in their back. Or shell, or whatever you want to call it. So let's kill these. What are they? I'm, I'm not exactly sure what they are. Jumpy thingies. And then, for this part, the little seahorses will come out of the ground. And... You can tell they're gonna come out because of all the bubbles. And I'm not sure why Mega- why machines need to breathe air, but they do. Like X, you can see little air bubbles coming out. And now our mi uh, mini boss for the stage. The first one, anyway. I'm not sure what his weakness is. Uh, I'm gonna try the storm tornado. That seems to work well on all the bosses. So this might take a while, because I, I don't remember what his weakness was. The most effective weapon, anyway. So I'm just gonna keep trying with the storm tornado. It might not appear on screen, and we already got it. It might not appear on screen because my uh, emulator might mess up. And then there's these fish who will, who will try to eat you, and uh, wouldn't want that. So you gotta shoot them from the inside. Kind of, kind of gross. And I have not seen one regular fish in this sea. Eh, this is just, just a little peculiar if you ask me. Let's take out that big eye on the top. So if you get- so occasionally if it has that little search eye equipped on the top that I just took out, then it'll be able to search for stuff and I'm not sure what will happen. It'll identify you and then it'll do some weird attack. But he's basically the same, only there's spikes at the bottom. And I almost died there. But, uh, he dropped a health. One of the health. And then there's these things. And you'll see that, and then they'll go into a big hurricane? I'm not sure. But they'll blow you up into the sky. Or to their surface, whatever. And then you'll want to go up on the next one, but don't go too far there. And there's spikes on the bottom. And where are these bombs coming from? There's a little ship up there, and it's weak against um, the storm tornado. Just one hit will take it out. There we go. <laughs> Pretty weak little ship dropping bombs and spikes. I'm not sure what it expects bombs to be on those spikes, though. I mean, oh well. So now here we have a little secret mini boss, and it dies with one hit with the storm tornado as well. You just time it right, aim it at the head, and my emulator. So just that was very clumsy of me. I just jumped, just jumped into the spikes, and uh, I'm gonna cut it right here and be right back. Back. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not gonna fall for that. The health is literally right on top of the spikes. Well, there's a little heart tank over there. And our heart tank... Our, our life bar is getting really huge now. That boss didn't really do anything, by the way. It, it just floats around. Trying to hit you. But here's another version of the boss. And it should be coming up any second now. Let's see, where is it? Here it is. And it's the same, only it can dig in and out of the ground. So barely any different at all. So let's attack it by the tail. And in my life, I have managed to kill it while it's underground twice now. That I've just done it again. And uh, I used to try a lot to just beat it while it's underground. But I just did it again. So wow. World record here. 
Here's Launch Octopus. He should be coming in from the ceiling somehow. Uh. So he's pointing at us. Mean. Very mean. Okay, so this little tornado that he's gonna make, if you get stuck in it, he'll try to suck all the life out of you and add it to his health bar. So you wouldn't want that. Other than that, he shoots these missiles out of his face. Mm, strange boss design, Capcom. Um, and then I think he shoots fish at you. Okay, uh, I've never actually thought about what they're doing before. But our health bars are, there, are at the same, but I'm gonna use my sub tank because just be safe. And then, oh, I accidentally got caught there. I didn't know he's gonna do the that there. So as you can see, took a little bit of that health there. And the flame attack will not work underwater. Uh, so yeah, just know that it's not really useful anyway. Underwater, anyway, that is. But we've already beat um, Launch Octopus. There's actually a little easter egg that we'll get in when we have another weapon and we go to the boss rush, which is in all Mega Man games. But we beat him and we get the homing torpedo? Homing torpedo. There we go. Now that we have that, we, we can shoot homing torpedoes. They'll home in on the enemy and they'll be very useful against a certain boss that we'll see next time in the, whatever the next part is. So uh, I'll see you then. Like and subscribe. Peace and sheep.